guys, so today is a really exciting video for you guys. Uh, me and my friend here on YouTube, we decided to do a Valentine's Day date night, get ready with me type of video. I don't know about you guys, but I know for Valentine's Day I really enjoy getting all dressed up and dolled up for my husband. I think it's just a fun experience. Um, not that I think Valentine's Day is this big crazy holiday, but I find it a really fun day just for my husband and I to go out to dinner together to get super dressy because we really never do that too much. Um, he works a lot, so yeah, it's just kind of an excuse to get super dolled up. So yeah, uh, um, so it is a collab. I will link her video down below. She is on here on YouTube known as The Beauty Benefit, and I will post her link like I just said down below. Definitely go check out her video because she is super cute and she just has amazing tutorials and reviews and I absolutely love her channel and I have for a really long time so um, yeah definitely go follow her on all her social media and her YouTube and if you go over there let her know that I sent you from my video and yeah I hope you guys enjoy this video um, the collab is she's doing more of a sweet casual type of look and I'm doing a more sexy glam type of look so um, yeah uh, I hope you guys enjoy it this is the look that I came up with it is a really pretty deep smoky pink eye and I just thought it came out really really good and um, I kind of show you a little bit how to do like this side braid into a side pony with a braid type of thing. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video and if you have any questions or comments, leave them down in the comment section as always. Be sure to thumbs up this video if you would like to see me do more of these types of looks. Um, yeah, uh, be sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. My links are always down in the Dropbox down below. And yeah, I hope you guys have a great day. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more videos. And I will see you guys in a little bit. So let's get into this video. Hey guys, so today I'm doing this look for you guys, and yeah, so we're starting out with the eyebrows, and I'm just going to be using this NYX Brow Gel and an Essence Brow Pencil just to kind of define my eyes first, and then I go in with the Brow Gel and kind of sculpt out a little bit more um, of a shape for my brows. Right here I'm just showing you, this is where I'm using the brow gel with just a normal um, angled liner brush. Next I'm going in with this NYX uh, concealer and I'm using this as like a primer for my eyes. And it is in the shade beige and I'm also using my Baby Skin by Maybelline uh, face primer today. So I'm just putting the primer all in my T-zone and where I need to cover up my pores. And just yeah, just really quickly rubbing that in. And right here I'm going in with that NYX concealer um, to just prime my eyes and give myself a nice um, clear base to work with. This will also help uh, your eyeshadows from creasing. Now I'm showing you I'm using scotch tape for this look today because I want a really dramatic, precise look. So just putting um, uh, some scotch tape on the outer corners of your eyes will give you that nice precision. I'm going in with my NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk and just putting that down as a base to give my eyeshadow a really nice white base to kind of make the colors pop more. I'm going in with this um, NYX Shadow in Blame It On Midnight just as like a blending shade. This will help all my shadows blend out easier in the end. Because we are going with some deeper, more colorful shades today, I want to make sure I really have a nice base to kind of blend out. Going in with my Urban Decay Electric Palette, I'm using the two pink shades in it. One's more of a hot pink and one's more of a, like a purple pink. I'm just kind of mixing those, going in with the lighter pink and then putting the purpley pink on top and then the lighter and so forth and so forth until I get the desired shade that I'm looking for. I really love this palette. The colors are just unbelievably gorgeous. Then going in with my Vice 3 palette, I'm taking that um, deeper, the two deeper brown shades, and I'm just going to take that with a fluffy brush, and I'm putting that, focusing it out on the outer corner of my eye and into my crease. And I'm just going to be buffing and pretty much packing on color and blending and packing on color and blending until I get the desired um, depth that I'm looking for. That's really the key to this look is just 
pretty much packing on color and going back and forth with it. And then here I'm taking my e.l.f. liquid liner and I'm just giving myself a nice wing. I really, really, really love this liner and it's only $3 at Target so I highly recommend you guys trying it out if you haven't yet. It's super easy to work with and it's super black. Then I'm going in with some false lashes and I went ahead and put those on off camera and as the glue's drying it's going to look kind of white but it does dry. So now I'm just going with a little like flat brush and I'm going to be putting the same colors that I did on my eyes up top on the bottom in pretty much the same order. So just to kind of make it all look more even. Then I'm going in with this Rimmel Coal Waterproof Black Liner. You guys, I love this stuff. It is amazing. It stays on all day without smudging. Highly recommend you guys trying it out. It's the bomb. And I'm just tight lining and lining my waterline. Then I'm going in and just kind of blending my lashes with my false lashes and putting on a little bit of mascara with it just to kind of make them blend a little bit better. Now I'm going in to do my face and today I will be using my Dream Liquid uh, Mousse Foundation and my Real Techniques Buffing Sponge and I'm just going to be buffing that all over my skin. I've really been loving this foundation lately. It just, I don't know, it just has the most beautiful finish to it and yeah, so I'm just putting that pretty much all over my face. Then I'm going to be contouring and highlighting. I'm using this CoverGirl True Match uh, Concealer Stick in a deep shade and then the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer um, for my highlighting concealer shade. And yeah, I'm pretty much just showing you how I contour my face. I'm really loving this um, process of contouring lately, so yeah. Once you got all that on, I'm just going to take my Real Techniques uh, wet sponge and I will be blending all of that in together. And doing this first just creates a really nice base for your bronzer and it gives you a more um, contoured look. So I just really enjoy doing that when I'm doing a really like intense look. Now I'm going in with my Rimmel Stay Matte um, powder and I'm going to be putting that all over my t-zone just to kind of set everything to make sure those products don't slide around on my face Once that's done, I'm going with my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer and I will be bronzing up exactly in the same areas that I put that cream um, contour shade. So yeah, I'm going to be doing that to bronze and give a little bit more contour. I'll also be buffing that out with uh, e.l.f. Uh, powder brush, I believe it's called. Then I'm going in with this number 7 by Boots blush. I don't know the color. It's just a really baby pink shade and yeah, I thought it would be really pretty with this look. And I love this blush lately. It's really pretty and it looks really natural on your cheeks. Once that's done, I'm going in with this Hard Candy Blush in Honeymoon, and I'm using this as my highlighter today. And then I'm going in with this Jordana um, Best Lash Mascara for my lower lashes. Then I'm just doing the inner corner of my eyes. I took the NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk and put that down first. And then I went into my Naked palette by Urban Decay. And I just took the shade Half Baked, the golden shade, and I put that on my inner corner. Then I'm going in with this NYX Lipstick. And I'm putting that on and then topping it with my Lorac um, Liquid Lipstick Gloss. Uh, I will leave the names of the shades down in the down bar below because I really can't remember them off the top of my head. 
but it just gives you a really nice nude look and I thought it was really pretty. This is the overall look. I know the glue on my lashes isn't quite dry yet, but um, it did dry completely by the end of this video. But yeah, so that's the look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Alright, so now onto the hair portion of this video. Um, today I'm using my wig. I will have the link down below as to where I got this one. Um, I thought it'd be fun just to use the wig for this video so I could do a side do just because my hair is so short. So um, this wig is already curly, but if you don't have curled hair yet, uh, I would recommend curling it. Um, and I'm just taking a piece of the side, and what you're going to do is just start out with a, a really loose, messy type of French braid. Um, I know I'm not very good at explaining this, but that's all I'm doing is basically a really messy French braid on just this one little tiny portion. And once you get about halfway down, you're just going to stop adding hair and you're just going to braid all the way down that strip. So it looks like you have like a messy um, pigtail, but it's like started out as a French braid. And you're just going to braid it all the way down to the end and secure it with an elastic. And after you secure it, you're just going to go in and kind of loosen it up, make it really messy and like voluminous. Um, so it doesn't have to be perfect or anything, just kind of mess it around. Then you're going to take the braid and you're going to pull it to the back of your head and all the way over to the other side. And you're going to make sure that braid is laying flat. So if you need to like tuck your hair in in the back, you just want it to lay flat on your head. This was a little bit difficult for me to do without a mirror, so bear with me, guys. I know the mess, the back was a little bit messy, but um, you kind of get the idea of what I was going for. Um, but I just pinned the braid in to place, and then I kind of pulled out little pieces to make it a little bit more messy. And then when I got to this side, I pretty much, I'm just going to, put one last pin in it so you can see the braid is laying flat going around the bottom of my head and then I'm going to take the bottom part of this braid right here and I'm just literally going to wrap it around as if it was a ponytail holder to hold the rest of the hair and I'm just going to be pinning that in place and kind of pulling around and messing with it to make it a little bit more voluminous and literally just taking a few bobby pins and I was having a hard time figuring out which way I wanted to pin it but um, yeah, that's all you have to do. It only took me like a few bobby pins to pin it in to hold it in place. And I just thought this was a really cool idea. Um, it's really simple. It literally took me like five minutes to do this. Um, so yeah, and you can just pull out little pieces, you know, make the top a little bit more voluminous. Cur um, brush out your curls on the ponytail part. And just uh, pin it as many times as you want to make it feel secure. Um, but... I pretty much felt like this wasn't going to go anywhere. So, yeah, that's pretty much the hair look. It was pretty easy. And, you know, you can just pull around however much you want out around the face. And this is the finished look. The hair and the makeup all together. My glue still isn't dried there. But, yeah, so this is the overall makeup and hair look. I thought it came out really nice. Um, it's just a really pretty smoky pink girly yet sexy glam type of look. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this part, and I will show you the outfit that I chose um, just in a second.
enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys!